We return now to our exclusive conversation with Alibaba executive chair and co-founder Joe Tsai. It's not just Netflix, but Alibaba that made Oscar history by taking home an Academy Award. Alibaba co-produced Green Book, which won the statue for Best Picture, becoming the first Chinese internet company ever to do such a thing. Now the company is eyeing more Hollywood movies as it expects more goods and services, including entertainment, to be imported into China. Here's more of my chat with Alibaba's Joe Tsai. You have to look at this particular case as uh, what, what it represents in terms of what we want to do in investing in movies. Uh, we want to invest in quality uh, production uh, and uh, uh, the process of us uh, uh, you know, committing to this project and greenlighting this project internally is a very interesting uh, thing. Uh, one of our uh, team members uh, saw the movie and uh, she really pushed uh, this internally and uh, uh, so the committee that decided to uh, commit our capital to uh, help to make the movie, uh, uh, you know, w was, was convinced that this was going to be a quality production. Uh, we got involved because uh, we, we see the opportunity to bring high quality uh, content into China. So we went through a process of getting this project uh, uh, screened through uh, the quota system. And uh, so the movie is now going to show premiere in China on March 1st. Uh, the tickets are going to be sold on our uh, internet platform, uh, Tao Piao Piao. And uh, we expect a, uh, a very, very good result. Do you know if any of the trade talks involve getting better access to the Chinese market for U.S. studios, getting better ticket revenue, for example? I'm not aware of uh, if, whether that's a specific conversation within the trade negotiations. Uh, but I think overall trend is that China is going to be more open uh, for imports, not just in goods, but also services, including content. Uh, we, we're hopeful that uh, o over time that will happen. Uh, as I said, $10 trillion of services uh, over the next 10 years, service imports into China, uh, that's going to be very exciting. And are Chinese officials encouraging Alibaba, encouraging Chinese companies to invest in U.S. entertainment? Uh, currently, uh, all the decision making we make on investing in uh, overseas, whether it's imports or content or things like that, is driven by our company management. Uh, uh, we just may think that uh, in this particular case, in the case of the Green Book, it makes a lot of sense for us to make that investment. Um, six months until Jack Ma steps down as chair, how is the transition going and how does the company change once that happens? Well, the whole thing about a transition is that the company doesn't change. Uh, and, and Jack has done a very smart thing by announcing it one year ahead of time to give people ample time to uh, sort of uh, uh, adjust to, to the, uh, the, the new uh, uh, system. And uh, the great thing is we have a great CEO in place, Daniel Zhang. He's been the CEO of the company for over three years. He's going to take over as executive chairman of the company. Uh, and he's been with the company for, I think, 12 years now. And uh, see, uh, someone who is sort of homegrown, developed within our system, we're very, very proud that we've been able to take us, uh, our younger executives and develop them into leaders. Alibaba has bought a few foreign e-commerce platforms, Jiraz, Lazada. What's next for Alibaba in e-commerce and more broadly? Well, we, it, from an e-commerce standpoint, I think, uh, you know, if we're accessing uh, local market consumers. Uh, we like uh, uh, Southeast Asia and South Asia, South Asia and uh, these are the markets that we want to focus on. Uh, so the platform of Lazada with uh, being operating in, operating in uh, six countries uh, will uh, be the focus uh, over kind of the near to medium term. Uh, we're we're going to have to wait and see what we do because it's, uh, very, very, uh, it's a very un big undertaking uh, to do something to serve consumers outside of China uh, for uh, uh, any company. So I think for us, we're going to take it one step at a time.